All right, we got to try some of the sauces. Yeah, I don't think yeah, that's yeah, really yeah, yeah. hot. Thank you for being so concerned for me, Mom. <laughs> Bro, we've done spicy <laughs> vids before, and every time you're like, nah, <laughs> that. I'm a Welcome everybody to a special episode of Fung Bros Food. We are having an authentic taco showdown. We've got low-end tacos, high-end tacos, fish tacos, beef, pork, chicken tacos. Woo! Taco trucks are one of the only things that are open on the streets right now. I would say that authentic tacos might be the definitive food of Los Angeles. Before we move on with this video, make sure to smash that like button, turn on your notifications, and click subscribe. For the algorithm! Woo! Let's, Let's go. go! Tacos Mexico. In the name, these are tacos. From, from Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> carne asada taco. Yeah, or or as a, other people like to call it, carne asada. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a, definitely on the cheap side of your taco. This is a dollar 25. So like you said, New York has the dollar slice. Here's the dollar taco. Tacos, tacos Mexico. Mexico. There's some crunchy bits in there. Some, some of the meat has been caramelized really nice. You get the nice little bite of the raw onion. I like the sauce. Um, the tortilla is a little, a little mushy. So for each of these locations, we try to get carne asada, which is steak. We tried to get uh, al pastor, which is the roasted pork. And then we tried to get pollo, which is chicken. Al, al pastor. pastor. Dude, al pastor tacos are some of my favorite. A lot of Middle Eastern people came to Mexico and uh, they used the spit version to make halal. And then people in Mexico then took that and then turned it into al pastor. Right. <laughs> the carne asada was better than the al pastor. It was yeah. way better. I thought the pastor, all I could taste was just spice. Just spice. You know what I like in an al pastor is when you get like a little bit of like grilled pineapple. Okay guys, here we have the chicken taco. The green sauce is definitely noticeable. Um, different, uh, it's, a, it's a different flavor than the red sauce. It's mm. not as hot. It's a little bit more vegetal. This may be my favorite of the three. What was the best taco that you guys had? Say it. One, two, three. Pollo. Chicken. Whoa. I said chicken, pollo. You said the beef. I went with the, the beef. Asada. Okay. Even though the complexity of the beef flavor really wasn't there, obviously it's a dollar twenty-five taco. It had that <laughs> chick with the yeah. with the rojo sauce. Okay. Tacos, Tacos Avalon. Avalon. Carne asada. Not that much flavor coming from the tortilla. From the green zone. Flavor coming from the beef. It's a little salty, though, for me. It reminds me a little bit of like Taco Bell. Pescado. Mm. Okay. A lot of tomato flavor immediately. The actual fish doesn't have too much flavor. Yeah. I could use some salt. Definitely a lot of mayo and cream, but I wouldn't say the cream has that much flavor. I love seafood tacos. And this just like does not do it for me. No, nah, it's not, not good. good. We're moving on to the Al Pastor. Big, real big. Real. Very simple. They just give you some chopped onions, some cilantro. So dry. Too much of that straight like cayenne pepper flavor. Yeah, it's not good. Kind of dry. Of the Avalon taco truck on the count of three, say which taco was the best. One, two, three. Carne, Carne asada. asada. Not even close. Moving on to the mid-tier price point, we have Chipotle. It's your fast food taco spot. It's the Shake of Shack of tacos. Chipotle, Chipotle steak. steak. Chipotle brings the flavor. It really does. But obviously the lettuce inside the Chipotle, not the most traditional. I don't know. Like for a taco, I'm just not feeling this. Like, I, honestly, I don't think it tastes bad, but it just tastes like a Chipotle bowl. But I think, pretty good. I think this tastes way better than the Tacos Avalon or Tacos Mexico. It's not even close. I'm disagreeing with you guys. Chicken, chicken Chipotle. Chipotle. The chicken quality, obviously way higher than the other ones. I might have been converted. I might get the tacos next time I go to Chipotle. The, uh, the crunchy. I cannot stand with you guys on this one. Dude, the tortilla is super fluffy it's too. It's so good, it's not dry. No, I'm not saying it's bad. I just, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like a taco. I don't know. I'm not saying if I it looks am like a taco, taco expert. If it looks it, like it a just taco, smells like a taco. has none of like the spice. taco. It has none of the other ingredients. No, I disagree. Mexican pulled pork. 
part of a burrito I'm eating. Come on. Okay. Uh uh. It's just, it's, mm -mm. This is a sour cream bomb. Or that definitely that tastes definitely like tastes like that. I will. I will. Definitely agree with you. Chipotle is not bad. All right, it's not, bad. not bad. It's not bad. No one can say Chipotle sucks. It just simply is not authentic. Yeah. All right, everybody, we are on to the three dollar range. These are what you would consider more expensive tacos. High end. We are looking at Tacos 1986 and Sonora Town. Border Town style. So this is like an alternative to like Tex-Mex. Oh, the other thing about Sonora Town, they cook everything on a charcoal grill. So let me know if you guys can taste the mesquite charcoals coming from the taco. Right, okay. should be more of a barbecue flavor. Oh, tacos 1986. Wonder when they uh, started. Could it be? A lot of beef. Huge, mm. gigantic tacos. All right, we gotta try some of the sauces. Yeah, I don't, don't that, that's really hot. Don't. Thank you for being so concerned for me, mom. <laughs> Bro, we've done spicy <laughs> biz before, and every time you're like, nah, <laughs> I'm a <laughs> right. fair, fair, fair. I'm not the a spicy. intoxication I'm just, of the spicy I'm just trying to look out for you, bro. Look out for my uh, digestive yeah. tract, right? Yeah. The meat quality is solid. Yo, the meat is still juicy, it's plump. The avocado mm -hmm. brings a certain creaminess that rounds out the um, the spiciness. I, I the one thing I wish I wish there was more chopped onions in it. I agree with you. Mm. Yeah. That is an LA taco. The yeah. tacos 1986 yeah. and tacos Mexico. That to me is what's in my mind. Also, you get uh, interesting celebrity mixes. Salma Hayek is half Middle Eastern and half Mexican, but she reps Mexico. Dude, she is the Al Pastor of Mexico. Did you know that? Shakira's also half uh, Middle Eastern. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. So she's half Colombian, half Middle Eastern. She's half Lebanese, half Colombian. Oh, uh, uh, she does do a lot of the belly dancing. Pollo. Surprisingly, the chicken's not good. It's mm. light on the flavor. Very light on the flavor. The chicken's not seasoned that well. You can tell the quality of the chicken is, is still pretty good, but it's not seasoned. Mm -mm. I don't taste much. Nope. I don't taste much from that. And the avocado actually takes away from it even more because it makes it more bland, more like creamy. Here we have the Al Pastor from 1986. Yo, check that out. That looks really good. Mm. Oh. That's a taco. That's a taco right there. Wow. My favorite taco from Tacos 1986, even though I love Al Pastor in general, I gotta go with the carne asada one. It was better than this one, for sure. I, like the carne asada taco was definitely the best one. Okay, our last and final spot of the taco showdown in LA. Uh, here we have a spot that is very, very, very much talked about. It's been, there's videos made about it with millions of views. We are talking about Sonora Town Taco. It's definitely the most visually appealing out of all the tacos we've seen. You get a nice like thin um, flour tortilla. You get the nice grilled onion that comes on top. Carne asada from Sonora Town. Strong charred flavor. It's a little bland besides the charcoal that I taste. There's not that much like salt going on or like, I'm not really getting anything from the meat besides the smoke. The tortilla is nice though, it's nice and fluffy. Yeah, I think you can really feel the quality, but the flavor's not really there. Yeah. You know? Highlight was the tortilla though. Dude, For love sure. the tortilla. If you are into that really charcoal barbecue campfire flavor, that's gonna be huge though. All right, let's do the chicken. chicken. Okay, so if you guys look inside of this taco, it doesn't look like there's very much inside. There's yeah. just a little bit of that um, cabbage. There's a little bit of hot sauce. Wow. Mm. I thought it benefited from the charcoal. I think this one is better than the carne asada. I'm still lacking a lot of flavor. Um, the charcoal helps the chicken for sure. Kind of disappointed a little bit. How Burger King really focuses on that flame, flame. oil flavor. They're like, we got the flame guys. If you want that grilled taste, we got it. Sonora Town also really got it. Chorizo. Chorizo. Chorizo kind of being like the spicy Mexican sausage. Mm. All right, guys. It wasn't bad. The wasn't chorizo bad. one at Sonora Town is better than the carne asada one, in my opinion. 
but the chicken one reigns supreme. Nah. Agree no, or the disagree? No, the salad was good. I feel like this had more flavor than the other two tacos. So, I mean, overall, guys, we had low, middle, high, hot takes, man. Sonora Town was probably at the lower end of the list. Say the O word. It's Over overrated. Wow. On a flavor note, it just doesn't do it for me. It's not, it's, it's just not hitting the same. As the Dude, what do you think it is? Then do you think it is the visual appeal and just the smokiness? I see an open grill, it's charcoal. You see everyone waiting in line. I discovered, I just kind of like, Simple. Real simple carne asada, man. Whether it was Tacos Mexico, Tacos 1986. Yeah, it's nice to have all these expensive tacos, but if I were to take you guys to a taco spot, I will take you to my taco truck on 9th and Hill. Everyone has their taco truck, and that's right, what makes right. the experience so unique because everyone likes certain things that they like. I think my single favorite bite was Tacos 1986, but overall for value, I've got to give it to the carne asada at Tacos Mexico. I'm gonna roll with though tacos at 1986, uh, taking the tortilla and the filling all into consideration, probably 1986. I'm gonna roll with Taco Mexico. All right, you guys, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, like and subscribe, turn on your notifications, follow Ryan Benson on social media. Please let us know in the comment section below what is your favorite style of taco and from where. And number two, please let us know another signature food item that there is a ton of different variations of that we need to have a showdown battle. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.